hardest part about running an oyster business is the lack of availability of oysters. Because if you don't have oysters, you can't sell them. My family got into the oyster business in Virginia when I was a child. They left in the mid-90s. There was a couple of different diseases that killed most of the oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. And they saw an opportunity here and took a chance and moved. When I first came to work here, there were several processing businesses. Katrina put a lot of people out of business. The oil spill in 2010 was probably one of the toughest times. It, it really damaged the reputation of the oyster business. People did not really believe that our seafood was safe. So the industry got together and we did work to get that reputation back again. We've had multiple incidents where the spillways have opened in a lot of freshwater events and that's killed the oysters. The oyster industry throughout South Mississippi used to be a way of life. We have a whole cultural heritage built on the seafood community and it's just going away. 